Hi. <laughs> Hello, Pinky. Alright, I'm gonna start here in a second. Alright, it has been, been so long since I've played this game. <laughs> I haven't submitted a run in even longer, but I have played it. Okay, um, need to unpause this. Okay, um, yeah, I'm only going to be doing some casual runs today because, like, I mean, it's legitimately, it's definitely been, like, over, well over, like, a year or so since I've properly played this game. Um, so I'm, I'm very rusty. Not, not even trying to be fast right now. You know, I like how they, you can choose a horse at the start, even though there's no other horses to choose. Like, why do you go through the selection menu for a horse? I guess they just want to teach you how to do it. So. I'm trying to remember these controls and how this feels. It's so, it's <laughs> so strange. <laughs> Even though it's been a very long time, I still, like, basically remember how to play it. Oops. It's mostly getting used to the, um, speed of, of things. And it'll especially, because I know that a lot has been improved about the um uh you know the the general like way of movements and it's been so long in this game like feels like once you get into it it's pretty good but when you're still kind of getting used to how how the horse controls it's kind of awkward especially when like mostly because i know in the snow place now um uh, and that one snow trail if you go at a good speed, then you can get around that snowball, and so it, a lot of it still has to do with, like, you can keep up the good pacing, then you're fine. But if you don't, then you might not be able to do certain things properly. Um, so yeah, that, that's something that I'll have to get better at, because it's been, it's been so long that undoubtedly my, my runs are going to be pretty lacking in some areas, and so the cycle on some of those things is not going to be very good. The fact that I've been playing this game since I was like five is kind of wild though. Obviously I'm, I'm not playing it consistently by any means, but like it's just kind of weird to think that I'm like still playing this game for some reason. <laughs> Look, I don't know why I don't remember that chest being like right in the middle of the road there, but okay. You can't you can't hit A when you're walking, I guess. It's a shame that there's no real bugs to um, figure out with this game. It's all just it is all just moving, which you know keeps it simple.
well, it's kind of awkward, <laughs> but okay, sure. Oh, it's this jump right here that is, like, horrible. If you are positioned in the wrong direction, you just end up hitting the wall. This game is like I, it's it's um it's funny because I, the last only last game that I played that was Barbie related was Barbie Genie actually the last game that I played at all that was Barbie was for the Barbiethon, <laughs> so I haven't played any Barbie games since then, um, and uh, let's go, um and so I haven't played any Barbie games since the Barbiethon basically um, which is uh it's been it's so it's been a while it's, it's been quite a while. And I'm glad that I at least got a record for that. Of course, it was a record for a category that no one had played. So, like, technically speaking, not really a record, but also kind of was because I did better than my last time when I uh, when I played Genie Bottle with the bottle. And I would love to, I kind of want to make that my category in the sense that I actually really enjoyed playing it with the bottle. But, like, no one else is going to play that. <laughs> A second. Hi, Christy. I just rescued a horse. Can you come pick it up and take it back to the riding school? Sorry about that. Um, okay. Ah. Why did I save these two at like 12 a.m. and 2 a.m.? When was I playing? Okay. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna. I'm just gonna run through this entire game casually and uh, see what we get. Just see how it feels. And then I'll probably repeat a few of them just to um, get used to them. It's the later ones that I struggle with more, I think. Mostly the snow trails, like, hoof the. The raccoons and stuff, um, yeah. Not good with those parts. I don't even remember which way to go. Um, here? Is it this way? It's been a while, so... Right, so the key's over here, and then I'll just grab that and go. There's a, there's a couple games that I really do want to, like, play all the way through, but I just don't think I'm going to make them stream things. Like, one game that I thought would be fun to speedrun, um, which is not a Barbie game, but it is a horse game, and Livy and I have talked about it quite a lot in the past, but I never properly actually beat it, um, just because it's such a weird game which was um uh, a saddle club and there's there's so much about that game <laughs> that is just so interesting um and it has some pretty crazy bugs but we just couldn't figure out how to utilize them uh for a speed run so that's kind of the only reason why we haven't I haven't really gotten to it i kind of i need to beat the game all the way through um, for the sake of, you know, actually knowing how the game goes. The thing is, is that it's like, it's supposed to be like a mystery game, um, in the sense that the things that you do, you have to like gather clues, um, from people in the town in order to actually complete stuff. And so it's hard to, I, it might be a game where you could just easily skip through everything if you know all the answers to the clues, but I think that the game kind of bars you from uh doing certain tasks until you actually talk to certain characters um but that's also kind of why it's not been an easy game to just want to complete because we got to actually play the game and like think <laughs> about the game um 
before we can actually, you know, beat it. Um, hello? RB. But that's what I'm kind of curious about, actually beating and seeing if it has potential. Of course, it again would be another game that, like, nobody is going to be playing except for, like, me. So, that's always the problem, is picking these, like, random obscure games. This one does have a lot of potential, though, I think, with all the bugs and stuff. But it's also such an unknown game. Me and my unknown girls aimed children's game. Don't know why that is. just can be anywhere. Okay. I feel like I usually have pretty good luck with this game, even if I'm like kind of slow. The cycles and stuff have been pretty good for me. start racing. I might at some point try a mystery ride. Um, I need to replay that game in general because that was one that I also played when I was like five. And I haven't actually played that game since. I do own it like physically now. Um, I just have I didn't get it. I didn't get it working at first. So I also still need to get a CD drive. I still don't actually have one because I haven't actually played anything that has CDs right now, but my computer doesn't have a CD drive, so. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do need to play Mystery Ride. Yeah, that's one that I, I don't know why, but that game, like, was always like was always in my head in terms of like the games that I played as a kid even though I don't actually remember anything about it I have a picture there's like a picture of me when I was like five sitting at the computer at our like bulky dinosaur desktop um in my dad's office playing mystery ride Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably gonna try and install that with the CD, anyways, just because I have it. I like doing it that way. Um, but yeah, I'll have to look. I'll have to look into how the speedruns for that game are going. Because I remember, I remember when it was like popping off, and a lot of people were playing it <laughs> for some reason. I don't remember exactly why, but people were finding all kinds of things. Um, and I remember when it was just popping off for a while back, which made me curious about it again too. Yeah, I own, I, I do own, like, a big box of it. It was my goal to own the Barbie Horse Games physical. Um, the big box, though, is pretty shitty. <laughs> it's pretty shitty. Oh, got too close to the bear. How fast is the fastest um, run for Mystery Ride? I don't remember how. I remember that game was pretty quick. Or at least I felt like it was. Okay, yeah, that is pretty quick. I don't I don't play a lot of games that are that short. <laughs> so it'd be nice to pick up something that is short. Well, Genie bottles are in G Hell, so like I can probably manage that. <laughs> Barbie Genie is the purest of RNG Hell. So I 
I can if I can be the only person running Barbie Genie and manage that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised that Olive doesn't want to run it because of that. We talked about that a little bit the other day. <laughs> At the very least, the game is not very long, which is kind of why I can manage Barbie Genie, because Barbie Genie isn't very long. Um, it's not, like, super short. We can get it shorter. Um, actually, it is pretty short now since Olivia last ran it, but... Um, but yeah, I mean... The thing is, is that it's really not fun trying to, like, I know that Olivia does not, not enjoy, um, hey, open the gate. O open the gate. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, no, I don't think I heard about that. The Jackbox speedrun. That was I was expecting a log to hit me, but okay. This one's going actually surprisingly smooth for how long it's been. We gotta hang out soon. Olivia and I gotta hang out soon. We're we were thinking about hanging out so we could play battle club. And actually finish it. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to see if I can get this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to ask them about that. Or actually, is the VOD like on the channel or something? I'll have to look at that. Okay, well that was not, like, super clean, but that's the idea. You know, I'm not even sure if I ever- I don't think I ever, like, powered through the mud. I think I just awkwardly did that. Ooh, okay. I'll- I'll check the- the leaderboard then. Okay, come on. Let's get going. That- that- I feel like that one went- pretty smooth for how long it's been. That level is like one that I can definitely, once I get into a flow with it, I get it. I do kind of want to get back into more speedrunning stuff, but like I'm one of the people who, like, I mean, the problem is, is that I'm playing all these games that no one else is playing, <laughs> which doesn't lead to a lot of like, competitive urge to keep playing but then i never want to run games that are like super big anyways because usually if the game is really really big it's kind of really hard to beat the records anyways <clears throat> that is why i like the barbie stuff there's less people doing it I cut through here? No. Can I cut through any of here? I'm curious. Okay, I'm like getting stuck. Yeah, when things start getting like really optimized, it's like... It is... It definitely gets <clears throat> harder to play the game. Um... Like, Barbie Genie is at a state now where, like, Olivia and I optimized it so well that, like, there's there's nothing we can figure out what to do um, with the game. There's just a point, like, you know, where where things just get so optimized, it's like, what, what else can you do? And even this game is getting pretty optimized um, to the extent where I'm not so sure if I can catch up. I don't know why I thought you could like jump over. Oh, oh, okay. Now I have to like. No, I just have to leave. I don't know why I thought I had to go into that maze or something. 
think I just go down. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's always, like, there's, there's a certain extent with some of these games where, like, I don't really plan to play them because of, like, you know, the, these are kids' games, and there's only so much you can do. Okay, I do need the... I need a key. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Forgot about that. Like, I, I, for a bit, I thought about playing, um, uh, what was it, like, the Pet Rescue game on the PC. That was one that I played when I was a kid a lot, and I was thinking about playing that, but it's like, eh. I don't think I'll be that interested in playing it. Like, in terms of general entertainment, not very strong. <laughs> so. Right, I forgot this is a... Okay, I'm... Gotta move you, get out of the oh, hello horse. Okay, well. Yeah, it's like some of the games they're not that good. <laughs> they're not that good. Which is always the problem with trying to even get people into these games at all. Like trying to convince someone to play Barbie Genies like Incredibly hard. <laughs> and it's funny, it's kind of funny how, like, a game like Barbie Genie is unappealing from a speedrun degree in the sense that a lot of people don't enjoy the RNG. But in reality, the game is, like, super simple. I mean, it's, like, just point and click, click on objects, and that's it. Solve puzzle, that's it. Like, as a, in terms of level of baby game, it is incredibly baby. But in terms of speedrun sense, it's like really not, like really hard, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I don't know. I mean, the simplicity of, of Barbie Genie is pretty strong. Like, it's the most basic, like, you know, flat point and click you could get. Um. And I mean, Mystery Ride is it's still up there, but um, it's hard hard to say it's any more simple. In terms of like general, like visual gameplay, Barbie Genie is like incredibly, incredibly simple. <laughs> it's mostly just because it's it's old, so there's not much going on. The fact that it's an older game means that there's not as much happening, you know, because Mystery Ride is a full, greedy environment. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Horse, horse acquired. I can just leave during this, right? Well, technically speaking, like you don't actually jump. Um, you don't jump from keyboard to mouse in a. Uh, in in Barbie Genie, like technically, at all. Uh, why did I like let the game? I didn't save. I didn't mean to exit the game. I meant to exit the level. Okay, well, I didn't save, so. Okay, well, I gotta do this again. Fine, just more practice. Is Barbie Genie just, um, mouse and controls? And, like, uh, technically, like, you gotta move to the F5 keys to use the bottle. Um, but, like, in te like technically speaking, that's not how, like, it actually plays. Um, but regardless, you can also, like, control the entire game with just the mouse, um, instead of the arrow keys. 
But, uh, whoops. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's the, you can use the mouse to actually control your entire game, except for the, the bottle, of course. Because the, the, if you move your, your mouse to the edges of the screen, it turns Barbie and moves her forward, which most people don't do, um, because it is kind of awkward. It's funny because, like, at least from my perspective as a speedrunner, I don't care about RNG. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm not that serious about it in the sense that, like, I know a lot of people don't like it at all and they find the runs to be very not fun because they don't enjoy RNG. But, like, RNG just doesn't faze me. <laughs> I'm not a very competitive person, is to say the thing. It's like, having a run get messed up by RNG is like, oh, that's kind of annoying. But, like, in the end, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> it's it's not that much of a bother to me. That's why I feel so um, unaffected by a game like Barbie Genie. It's like when people are finding that to be the worst part of it, I'm like, okay, really. I mean, it's yeah, it's kind of annoying, but, like, I don't know. I just kind of go through it, and it's fine. But I don't really let a lot of that stuff get into my head for a comp for like a competitive angle of playing it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'll be curious about trying Mystery Red at some point, um, in that sense. Like, I'll, I'll restart Barbie Genie a million times and not really care. It does help that the game's not long. Like, if, if you were to give me a game that has RNG and it's, like, 30 minutes, then yes, I'll be kind of annoyed. But that's more so just because the game's long and not because of the RNG. <laughs> that's kind of the main reason why I've been able to stick with Barbie Genie, and I don't try to convince anyone like Olivia to... Oh, I forgot to get the thing. ...to keep running it because, like, I know that they don't always enjoy those kinds of games. Oh, Barbie. This is, like, the most awkward climbing anyone could do, like... Okay. Oof, the camera. Yeah, I'm trying to think of... I don't think there's really many other Barbie games I would... No, wait, I don't want to get on the horse. Stop. Uh, yeah, that, that adds up. Yeah, I mean, if you do it that much, uh, I would, I would stop feeling emotions as well. Yeah, when I, whenever I practice, um, and try to practice stuff, I don't really, I, I basically never reset, like, ever when I do practices, because, like, I just, I don't want to bother to keep doing it over and over and over again and, and in that way because it just gets really grueling and not fun. So I always power through when it comes to situations like that where, where the uh, RNG and stuff is not good. Yeah, that's that's always the the key thought for me. Um, I just kind of keep going, and if I do a run that I like. I don't really, I don't know, like I just don't reset like much at all because I don't really, I don't want to play the game over and over again from the start. Um, I'll just do a run, and if it comes out bad, then it comes out bad. Especially, I feel like for. 
I mean, mostly for long games as well. If the game's long, then I also just really don't want to reset because I don't want to play the long game all over again. But uh, with a really short game, then I might reset a bit more just in the sense that it's incredibly short, but we're talking like under seven minutes short. Because it's like at that point, you're just losing a few minutes and it's like whatever. Okay. Right, let's, uh, oh, hi. Hi, Olivia. He's doing casual runs still. I accidentally forgot to save and quit into the title. I'm redoing a bit. <laughs> but, uh, it's funny how much my brain still remembers this game. Even though it's been so long. I, I, you know, it's funny because I was thinking when I was running through this one again that, um, I don't think I ever, like, just powered through the mud. I think I took the awkward turn and I was just really bad at it. Oh god. Right squeeze there. Oof, the hitboxes on those freaking logs <laughs> is something. I will have to uh, practice that that sharp turn on the logs, though. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. Um, being precise with their movements in this game is important because, like, the horse moves in a way that's like, it feels nice, but it's very stiff. Sometimes. It's a very solid horse. Hold on a second. Let me check the music. I think... Oh. Good lord. <laughs> this has been repeating the one same song the entire time. I was like, wait, I've only been hearing one soundtrack. I had it on... It was on repeat. Oops. <laughs> Alright, it's not on repeat anymore. I was like, wow, a lot of tuned music is playing. But no, it was, it was just playing one song. <laughs> Logs. The snow levels are the one that I really need to refresh my brain on the most, I think, because um, oh, my horse is going to die. I need to get some carrots. Um... But yeah, I need to. Go the snow ones are always the ones that like can trip me up with all the raccoons and, and nonsense. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Oof, that jump is awkward. Okay, go get that horse. And then we will be onwards to the snow. Look, a missing horse. We'll need to get close to her to lasso her. Yeah, two and three are the ones that, that are a bit more confusing. For sure. Let's try to catch the horse. We need to be close to the horse to use the lasso. Great job. We've rescued one of the horses. We need to get a longer cable for my controller. <laughs> I'm like at a weird angle, but we're fine. Alright, let's go. 
Yeah, the snowball thing. Like, that's the one that, like, I'm... It's like that one, it only works when you, you have it on a cer certain speed, like a certain cycle. And uh, with how out of, like, how the fact that I haven't played this in so long <laughs> um, will probably be a little hard to get, depending on how fast I am. Oh no, <laughs> that's weird. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just haven't bought like any new cables for controllers since I moved, and I've just been like suffering with this really short cable. Uh, I need to get a new one. I can't really. I'll have to rewatch some of my runs because I can't really remember how I got around the snowball. Like if I actually, because I feel like I went around it. Instead of, like, going really slow or whatever. Right, I'm, like, forgetting which- I, I'm forgetting which direction to go when I get here. This way. Yeah, I feel like I always get hit by, like, one snowball, at least. Need some dang carrots. Oh, wait, I forgot. That's not the way to go. Need to remember to turn this way. It's been so long. <laughs> I do really want to play Saddle Club now, though. Like, I, I want to just actually beat the game. Just so I know how it goes. Kind of like how we just played through Mystery Ride, but Mystery Ride, like... Or not Mystery Ride, sorry. Um, uh, the, um... I can't remember which one. Riding Camp, yeah. That one. Um, I don't know why, but like, let's see, one horse, get out here. I don't know why I feel like this is going a lot more awkward than it should be. I need to practice this because this is annoying. Come on, horse, and this dang camera. I think the thing about Saddle Club is that for some reason it feels like it's so much longer and so much- I mean, it is a lot bigger. Um, I don't know why my camera got turned like that, but yeah. Um, Saddle Club feels like a lot longer and a lot bigger than Riding Camp, and it probably is. I'm pretty sure it's bigger. Um, but it's also because the game really tries to make you, like, do, like, investigation stuff. Um with finding clues and stuff, and so, like, that's the part that we gotta play through, like, ourselves and figure out, which, um... Oh, dang it, I was hoping I could get past that bear. I'm gonna die. Where's the carrots? I need carrots. Aren't there any carrots on the road? Well, we're almost done, so it's fine. But yeah, so Saddle Club is one that, like, I want to beat it, but it might take take a bit. <laughs> It'd be fun to play together in that sense. I think the quote-unquote mystery solving would be fun. This was a weird direction to go in, but sure, whatever. I think the one thing, too, that we realized about the game back then, because, um, is that, like, you can't, doesn't seem like you can, you can't just go straight to where the mystery is solved. Um, yes, when you're back, I forgot you're leaving, you were on that, or you are on that trip. Uh, um, so, let's see. Hello, yes, return. Um, but yeah, I forgot that, like, uh... That, like, I think the the thing that we came to the conclusion about that game with was that, like, basically, um, there's, like, multiple clues you gotta figure out, but you can't just, like, be like, oh, I know where this clue is already. You gotta talk to the characters. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I was. I, th I thought you were leaving soon. That's why I was. I forgot about that. But, but yeah, it's like which kind of sucks because like that game would be so easy to speed run if you could just be like, oh, I know where all these clues are, and then just you know, rush to the end. But you can't do that. So you gotta like talk to the characters. Um, I guess as long as you know who to talk to. Whoops, okay, just hit that, for sure. Trying to remember which ways to go here. Now I just go this way, I think, right? Yeah, just leave. I'm gonna grab a carrot or two because I don't really want to die in the middle of this. There we go. I'm probably not gonna have a good cycle for when the snowballs come up, but... Oh god, raccoon. Well, there goes that carrot. And I don't- I wasn't even looking at my screen when I had that snowball. Uh... Oh yeah, it's like a little... Yeah, I decided that would be a nice little icon. As my- my- my avatar originates from Spore. I also do have channel emotes um, now, except two of them are still pending, which I don't really know when they will not be pending. <laughs> I love it when <laughs> when I'm playing this and I run past the holes and they're just standing there like, okay. Oh, my mouse is on the screen. Hold on a second. Alright, more race time. I don't know when I'll do like a legit run of this game. Um, so I really gotta practice. I'm so out of practice, it's ridiculous. Yeah, just... Walking past the foals, like, no, you're not part of the speedrun, sorry. Hitboxes on everything in, these, in this game is, like, ridiculous. It's one thing that I noticed about all these horse games, the, the Barbie horse games, is that, like, they really don't want people messing up. They're like, let's put a giant, giant bounding box on everything. Yeah, I really got to get more used to the, um, the movement in this game and taking like really tight turns because that's where you save a lot of time. But then I end up getting nervous about where the boundaries are on all the objects in this game. Yeah, this is not the kind of game where, um, like, I feel like the the biggest benefit of running this game is just to do a full run. I don't really like resetting on this game. I'm also going to save just in case I mess up again. <laughs> Oops. Alright, I can pet my horse. Yeah, I'll have to um, give some other games a shot again soon. I kind of want to play Genie again, even though I have no reason to. <laughs> what a beautiful snowy 
I don't know why I'm in a mood. My bottle works. Um, it didn't work for a bit, but it was actually my power, like, the cable um, wasn't working. Shit. Come on. I hate how the raccoons come after you, too. Like, that's the worst. Yeah, my bottle's uh, fine, luckily. It's, it's not easy. There's pretty much no one selling a bottle by itself right now, so that would have been annoying to try and get one. There's hardly anyone selling the game on eBay, so... That's true. Yeah, you do need to map the keys. Yeah, I, I really do prefer the bottle uh, for playing ever since I actually played it that way because of the fact that I don't have to use F6 and F5. This, uh, this trail, like, I always hated this trail when I played it and I had to get the foals and stuff because it's such a nightmare. But when you're actually just not getting the foals, it's it's fine. That's true, you could also do that. <laughs> yeah, having to hold down the function key would be annoying, so... Oops, I'm just not watching. Um... I don't, I don't think, well, the game, resp I think will respond if you have, um, yeah, the, the, uh, the rules are if you use the bottle, you gotta have a camera, but, um. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta show yourself using the bottle, like, theoretically, you could also do a run, um, uh, with the bottle and then just not call it a bottle run, and that would be fine because you aren't showing the bottle, but if you if you want to actually have a count. Um, I mean, you gotta show your hands using the bottle. <laughs> so like, if you can't, if you can't see your hands using the bottle, then it's not a bottle run. Okay, just gonna run into that snowball. Very cool. I will have to run this one again. I mean, if you show yourself literally using the bottle once and then not for the entire run, then no, it's not a bottle run. <laughs> like, if I wanted to, I could also, like, because I, I like the bottle more, and I could, like, technically submit a no bottle run actually using the bottle. And that would be fine. It's just that if you want to actually count as a gimmicky bottle run, you gotta actually show yourself using it. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely gonna run... Uh, I'm definitely gonna run this trail again. I was not really paying much attention. <laughs> but let's just go through the rest of them. It's funny because at first I considered the bottle to be like a funny gimmick thing and no one's going to run it, but I actually preferred running it that way, which is kind of ironic. Technically the game was made to be that way, but you know. And yeah, that, that is true. I'm also much more used to it. Um, but yeah, uh, someday I'll play Genie again. I just wish other people played it <laughs> and I wasn't the only one. But yeah, this uh, Mountain Trail was, 3 was fine wasn't paying any attention. I'm not much of a person to look at chat, but this is kind of a game where the people in the chat actually know the game. Yeah, with the bottle, um, where am I going? Why am I doing that? With the bottle, like, you gotta just make sure you take the top off of the bottle and then you're good. Which, uh, 
can sometimes get mixed up. Um, if you like don't have the top on when you plug it in, then it gets weird, and you gotta put it on and put it back off, and it's it's odd. But I'm like, yeah, I need to make my chat a little bigger, I think, because my eyes are like having to. Uh, hold on, look around a bit too much. Oh, let me see if I can change that real quick. Okay. Slightly larger chat. I have glasses. My eyes are already not better. And I don't think I can make them any better. <laughs> Looks like this foal's afraid of birds. Let's get them off the beach so we can get the foal to a safe point. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Olivia. I appreciate that. You are my second. <laughs> my second sub, so that's cool. Right, we're just going this way. Need to get my head back in the game with this game. Oh, you got the emotes too. <laughs> There's two more that should be coming eventually. Oh god. Oh. Okay, horse time. Yeah, I gotta figure out some more emote stuff still. It's still a, a work in progress. Mostly some animated ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Thinking of horse, horse games and Saddle Club also. Whoops. I, uh, I had intended to make, like, a video about Saddle Club, but that's probably not gonna happen. However, wait, not that way. Um, I did basically finish, like, the entire script for a video for Saddle Club, and so I'm probably just gonna... Dang cursor. Um, I'm probably just gonna post it as, like, an article. But I wrote like an entire article about Saddle Club and the uh, repackaging of that game. And also the general repackaging of, of games like that. Uh, okay, so Saddle Club... Uh, so Saddle Club is a game based off of a TV show and book series called Saddle Club, which is an Australian series. And uh, Saddle Club is a horse mystery game. It's an open world horse game from like 2002 or 2003. Um, and it's based on the show uh, where they solve a mystery at some island or whatever. And um, yeah, whatever. That's the basic game. But like the thing is, is that this game is actually just a repackaging of a, a more obscure original title um, that came out in 2002. And, uh, and so it's not even a Saddle Club game. Like it has nothing to do with Saddle Club. Uh, at all. <laughs> like, nothing in the game has to do with it, and that's because it's a repackaged game that's an original title by the studio. And uh, Saddle Club technically has more bug fixes, though. It's almost like it was a patched version that came out a year later. Um, and it's pretty pretty interesting in the sense that it's incredibly broken. And uh, one of the best things that we found out about it was that there's, like, a button to get unstuck if you happen to be stuck but it lets you just teleport through walls so and like it makes you jump backwards and so you can move really quickly and teleport through walls by using this unstuck thing it's pretty funny um right uh, wrong way this way um so yeah it's it's interesting the game is like uh you basically got to follow clues and you got to talk to characters to progress so we just haven't beat the game yet, but... 
yeah, we gotta beat the game first just to see how it actually plays. Because like basically when we when we were messing around not this way, I'm like going strange directions. Um uh, but when we were playing it casually, uh basically Can I go this way? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um when we were playing it casually and uh we're trying to see what we could glitch through. We basically were able to glitch into the final location of the game, but none of the events were triggering. You gotta like properly trigger them. As far as we can see, there's no way around that. But it was interesting. We got stuck. We got stuck in there, but it was cool. Why is there like another foal being scared by seagulls in this game? Like they're just birds. But yeah, I do want to beat the game just so we know how it goes and then we can see the potential of maybe running it. I'm not so sure if it'll be a good game to run because like you can't skip, you can't really skip past certain events as far as we can see. So. I'm not so sure if I'd call it like miserable or hard. The controls are janky as hell because it's old. Um, it's a really old game, and it is like, and it doesn't have the sort of quality control that Barbie games at least had. Um, but the teleporting around stuff makes things more easy. So you can you can at least kind of like muck your way around the game by teleporting with the unstuck key. Yeah, that's true. You could you can do a lot of clipping around, which. Probably speeds up the process a bit. Also, your horse goes like really, really fast, <laughs> really fast in that game. Like it's the controls are horrible, but like it's got enough happening to make it funny that I think you could probably enjoy it. So if we can find like a good combination of um, using the clipping through the walls and riding the horse, then I'm sure it could be pretty good to play. Uh, it's just kind of finding the, the best way to do that. Yeah, maybe, maybe if I want to take a break from from this game for a bit, then I can like play a little bit of that just for the sake of it. By no means will I do much, but it might be fun to mess around. Great job, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone's played the game. I'm pretty sure we checked and no one's played the game before. But, uh, it kind of, I would compare it probably to writing camp. Um, in that sense that it's like an open world, quote unquote, quest game. So, I don't know if you played writing camp. So I feel like writing camp is way more shallow in terms of general, like, appeal. For Saddle Club, I think there might be, I think I might be thinking... Well, yeah, there's long plays of it, but, um, yeah, the, the original one also, the original one would be interesting to play because even though it doesn't function the same, it may have more bugs to potentially break because it's, it didn't get patched in the same way, which it'd be interesting to find out. I don't even know what the full, like, Willowbrook Stables... Mystery of the Golden Horseshoe, I think, is the full title of the original. I think. Also, I have two copies of that game physically now. <laughs> that happened by accident. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go... <laughs> yes, patch. This way? I mean, I guess I could go the other way. <laughs> it doesn't really matter.
Yeah, there's no patch for that game. <laughs> patch doesn't exist there. All right, final horse time. I'm probably gonna go through that the snowy trails a few times, just to um refresh myself. I've been I've gotten more curious about Secret Agent Barbie, but I don't know if I have the time to focus on a game like that. I do need to watch some of the runs for it though, because I've gotten very intrigued by what I've heard. Come on, horse. Please, no. That was not a good one. Yeah, it's not a game that I think I would actually enjoy playing. Um, if I was to actually try it, <laughs> it might be fun to try it once just for like casual fun. But like to play consistently, I'm not so sure I'd manage to do that. Yeah, that last catch, I've had pretty good ones before, but I wasn't really watching or paying attention too hard. It's pretty bad if you mess it up. Okay, let's go to trail three. <laughs> uh, are there... I assume that there's probably runs of that Explorer Barbie game. I remember playing that one when I was little and I hated that game so much. It was so awful. The controls were just not fun. God, these freaking raccoons. I'm gonna get hit by every single one. Fuck you, okay. <laughs> God, raccoons. Well, I'm gonna try that again and just like... Let's try that again. I, um, I need to watch that, like... That, that bridge. Okay. What a beautiful snowy trail. Let's look for the rest of the missing horses. Let's uh So like is this random? <laughs> I don't know why, I feel like I'm getting really bad luck on that, and I've never had, like, so many of them hit me at once. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about the, um, the supposed sequel of, uh, Barbie Explorer. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. Y'all have to go across that. I don't know why, I feel like in the past I haven't had a bad time with that bridge, but those that instance, those the first instances that I was having there was not very good. We'll have to try that a few times. Right, left, left, um... Yeah. Okay, let's just get through this once and then I'll, I'll try it again too and see. No, we don't want to go that way. <laughs> I need to remember... Some of these paths, they blend in so well that my brain doesn't want to go to them immediately. Raccoons are seriously horrible. <laughs> the fact that they chase you is awful. Ugh. Yo, 
I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I almost turned there. That was close. Oh god, no. Bye, Pinky. Thank you for coming. Okay, so we're just gonna go back to the stables, and I'm also gonna save. Let's try that trail one more time and just see if I can get something a little better, but, um going for like an hour which is good for this game considering it's been a long time and i'm very out of practice oh yeah the ice slide okay that was not what i planned to do and i got hit by one but sure whatever let me check out the ice slide, too. God, if we could get up that. <laughs> I don't think I'll manage to figure anything out, but I want to check it out again. Yeah, I wish that, I wish that we could find some kind of bugs for this game. That could um, make it even more insane to run. I like that it is a very straightforward, just like race through the level kind of deal. Oh yeah, ripping the models. Oh yeah, I can I can probably look into that. I've done that before uh, with certain games. It's been a very long time though. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look into uh, ripping models because I've done that with Psychonauts PS2 and also Psychonauts PC. I've also done it with like another PS2 game. It's been ages, but. I could look into that for sure. Cause yeah, that would be a good way to potentially look into how the terrain is made and if there's anything that we can do with it. These kinds of games, these kinds of baby games are usually like so safeguarded in terms of making sure people can't mess them up. But it is very hard to figure out. Um, okay, cool. Did that. God. <laughs> Gotta get better at that snowball part. There's always one that seems to get me. Okay, let's go to the end here. That's true, we could also plot maps, which would be really fun to do. I would I always love making maps of things, so. Okay, so where was that? So weird. I do wonder what would happen if you came up this way. Um, because like you encounter the horse from the bridge, and so I wonder how it would trigger if you managed to get up this before you got the horse. Kind of surprised how much you stay on here before falling. The fact that you can actually kind of run up this is is interesting.
Because yeah, this comes out right here. I'm just going to go as fast as I possibly can. I don't think it'll make a difference because you don't really pick up momentum. Yeah, like, it's it's weird because, like, you don't exactly, you don't go up and then immediately slide down, but almost feel like you could do something. Like, I'm kind of going back up again. Like, the fact that I can just hold my place is interesting. I don't know what I could do with it, but, well, let me get on foot, too. Yeah, Barbie goes nowhere. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. If there was some kind of way to, like, glitch your horse. And, like, part of me is like, oh, maybe some of these snow patches? But you can't really touch them. Because the snow would be not ice. Oh, that was, oh, that was strange. I just, like, launched. That was odd. Don't know what happened there. Yeah, that was, that was a weird thing that happened that kind of launched me up there. I don't know if I could... There's a way to recreate that happening in a more intense form. It's interesting because if you start down there and then you let your horse kind of like do the jump and then run, it kind of gives you a bit more space. Yeah. Okay, stop moving. If I can get like somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um. Man, yeah, I can't think of how I could get higher up there, but it could be possible. I mean, it seems hard, but it could happen. There's potential for it to happen. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I were to tap down to stop moving and launch again with X. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that because it was it's basically like here, let's let's go to the ice again. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, let's go back again because I do want to test out a little bit more. I didn't mean to leave. Because okay, so let's also just try it with some of this ice um, because it's the same kind of deal. Yeah, because. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go over there and see, because I think the, the main thing is that, like, I think when you're sliding downwards, it kind of stops you from doing much of anything. Um, so it may not really give me the chance. But we can go back because I think I need a slope to test this out properly. Or at the very least, I think when you start sliding, you might just be going too fast that the buck and then running may not really help at all. Because it takes a moment, you know, when you start like when you're like this, it takes like a second to get going. So I think by the time that I was doing it, I was already at the ground, but we can see. Which is the problem is like the buck takes a second out of like actually starting. Luckily, I don't have to go through the stupid snowballs to test this out. Yeah, if the ice wasn't as steep, because that other ice slide and the earlier snow trail, you can totally mess with that one a lot easier because it's not as steep.
Once we're done messing around with this, though, I may take a break to play a little bit of Saddle Club before I finish my stream. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. So, like, once I'm here... Actually, let's go down. Okay, so... I need to come to a complete stop, which is kind of the problem. The problem is, is that I can't, I can't totally reach these snow textures, which I really want to try and use. Um, let's see, so I keep going and going. And then I let go. I start spamming. So I'm gonna go up as high as I can. Then I'm gonna start spamming and so that when it stops, it'll go again. But yeah, it does take a bit. So it doesn't really actually seem to build enough of a jump. So, yeah, sadly, I don't think I can figure that out just yet. Could happen, but it does seem really steep. If there's some kind of bug that we could figure out that, like, boosts your horse in some ridiculous fashion, um, then, uh, yeah, we could figure something out, like how in, in riding camp there were those spots where you could just launch your horse. Um... <laughs> That would be useful, but we don't have anything like that yet. Okay. I'm going to close this. And let me see if I can find... You know, I'm not actually sure if I have Saddle Club installed. I might need to... I may not have it installed. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, huh. Yeah, I haven't tried too much of that, but that's that's annoying. There's not too many bugs in, in this game. Where... Where is DX Wind? Okay, cool. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I may not have... Battle Club. I may have it. Where did I put it? The saddle Club, where did you go? Ah. Oh yeah, I forgot about the task tools. That would be nice. In the frogrames. Where did it? Uh, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna. He's playing music, so let me just do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have the game installed. Saddle Club, Infrogrames. Oh man, yeah, if we could clip out of the, into the hub area, like, and get behind, um, uh, you know, the, the walls and stuff, that would be really good. Okay, I'm gonna just make sure this launches. It might be very loud. But I forgot that I basically, like... Okay. Uh... Girl. May not actually have the game installed. So we may not be playing it. <laughs> Where's the ISO?
Explorer and and mount this. Why can I not mount this? Please. Okay, I think I can maybe <laughs> play this. Nope, it is not going to work because I did not actually install it. Well, let's just run around. Uh, let's just run around this for a bit longer then. I forgot that I didn't technically reinstall the game. I just copied my files over, so it's not really working. And so I will have to reinstall it. But, um, all right. Yeah, I would love to clip outside of the hub area. That would be fun. I want to wash my horse also because it just looks kind of ugly. Get washed. get so used to how the horse looks when it's dirty that like you no know, maybe i should do this on a new profile where the gates are not open so i don't fuck up um let's exit and make a new game if you want use the direct but you can choose a well done. Sometimes you will need to explore areas on foot, so you'll need to get off the course. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could do some kind of reset. Let's see if we can do anything in the hub. And, uh, I don't think we can, <laughs> but... I mostly wonder, like, if you were to clip through something like this, um, if, uh, it would just, like, unlock everything, you know? Oh, right, right, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what I could do to... These, like, bounding boxes are really something. Yeah. But any any skip would work. Uh, let's, let me take a look over at that one. Yeah, it's like, man, what can I do? There's not- they don't let you do too much. Oh, I love how I can see the, uh, trees going through the ground. Very cool. Paths just go off into nowhere. Yeah, this horse is, like, not gonna let me get anywhere near here, which is a shame. Let's see if we can go from the sides. Oh, my horse is, like, not happy with me. Uh, I did not realize my horse's health was getting so low. Oh, yeah, because I'm gonna die in the hub. You're not even on a trail, Barbie. I died in the hub. Let's go. Good girl. Let's go. Mostly keep wondering if this like bucking 
would get me anywhere. Oh yeah, huh. That is interesting. Yeah, the game accounts for a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go... You know what, I can just actually keep using this world because I have one gate open. Let me just keep hurting my horse though and just see. It's weird, um, running into the walls like this doesn't do anything, but running into the gates does. Yeah, huh. Let me see. I'll, I'll get my health low and, and see if we can do anything like that, because I'm curious. A horse. Yeah, let's get my health low. Okay, one more hit. If we lose any more friendship, we'll be set back to an earlier part of the trail. So how can I hurt myself while... So, like, I think the one thing is I should see exactly where the level starts. Okay, that's where it starts. Ah, and it restarts me back here. Okay, so it's like... <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. No. Gotta hit that fence. Let's go. Okay, I gotta, like... Really position myself correctly here. Oh man, I gotta like, I gotta hit the fence before I hit the loading screen. And I gotta do it in a way that makes my horse not happy with me. Let's go. No, dang, keep getting too close. Okay, uh, let, let's turn around here. Giddy up. Oh man. I want to go at the fence maybe from like a very far away angle that might help. Nope, that didn't hurt my horse. <laughs> Dying is really hard. It is. I gotta figure out the right way to die on this like fence mostly. If I can figure that out then I'll, I'll tempt it. Okay, how can I die against this fence? Yeah. Giddy up. yeah, let's see if that helps. If I go at a certain angle, yeah. then... No. Then it starts to, like, slide. Yeah. No. Okay, hold on. It's hard for me to determine exactly what makes the horse upset. No, that didn't do it. Oh, dang it. See, like, that made my horse upset. It's like, okay, running... Didn't, that doesn't do it. Like running and then just hitting it like that doesn't seem to do it. But running, okay. Let's let's test out some of these things. That didn't hurt it. That didn't hurt it. It's hard to determine exactly what is hurting the horse. That's a 
that's not hurting it at all. Okay, let me go back to, like, this again. That made it unhappy. So I feel like it's there's certain kinds of things that if it hits it, it gets unhappy. But other kinds it doesn't. Like, that doesn't do it. It's like, um... Okay, I'm starting to think that, like... That, like... Hold on. I think... Well, I, I'm kind of starting to theorize that maybe certain things are being considered ob obstacles and certain things are not. Because, like, normal wall, fine. There's many normal walls, but this and, like, a jump that you mess up like logs and stuff, that makes it unhappy. Um, and so, like, I think certain things are considered bad. Let's see if I can... Hold on. Yeah, like, that made it unhappy. Like, that's an obstacle to jump over. And so it's not happy. So, hmm. I'm not sure if I can make it get hurt. Yeah. Like not getting hurt on that wall. Let's go. Giddy up. Okay, yeah, and like, it's, sometimes it's weird, like, it really gets hurt at strange, strange areas. See, like, I don't even, like, do anything, I just, like, buffed the horse and it got upset. Huh. Well, I wonder if I can do that. I can figure out how to do that. Let's go. Because that kind of happened. Giddy up. Okay. I still don't exactly know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> Very confusing. Happened again. Yeah, that too. Dying in races and other situations in general. Alright. Uh -oh. we'll I don't know exactly how this is working. <laughs> up. Oop, I did not mean to go into the trail. <laughs> Oops. My horse is almost dead. Wonder if I can hurt myself here. To rescue a foal, get off the horse and walk up to it. Whoops. <laughs> I wish you can go back through the gate, but um Let's go. Hmm. Strange. I'm not so sure if we'll be able to figure anything out with that, but there's potential. Yeah. Giddy up. Okay, like. Let's go. Don't be afraid. Yeah, like, man, because I think I see what's happening with like the stop is that you gotta have an object in front of you for that to happen. Um, and it doesn't seem to be determining this as, like, an object. Giddy up. Giddy up. 
No. If I can run into the side of that gate in that same fashion, then I could probably get it, but... Yeah, can't seem to get it. Giddy up. I don't think there's anything else I could do around here. Everything is very... Let's go. Everything's very solid. Oh, I, I, I got on top of these. I don't know. That's a pretty normal thing to do, but, um, I know that's possible, but, <laughs> okay. Giddy up. Like, that's not difficult, but. Giddy up. Giddy up. Oh yeah, huh. Dying in a race's cutscene. Let's see. I can do anything with these. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I do I, I'm trying to think of like what races where we could potentially die. Let's go. Cause there's all three of them have it, and I feel like the icy trail would be one where you could die. Maybe. What is the beach one like? I can't remember. Let's exit. Yeah, let's go take a look. Giddy up. We see trail two, here we come. I think it's two. What a beautiful view. Okay. Let's go. Bridge is broken. Maybe we should try walking on the ice. This ice is Let me test um getting hurt on the ice. Oh, I just walked right over that. Why am I just like walking over some of this stuff? Like, okay. Yeah, let's get to the actual racetrack. And... stuff. We made it across. Great job. One thing I'm wondering... What a dense forest. Okay, so there's no ice next to Teresa. I'm trying to- because I'm trying to think of which races we could do that with, and I'm not so sure. The other thing is, is that I realized, I totally forgot, is that, like, the races, you have to- you have to press A in order to accept the races, but the horses are the ones that have the automatic cutscenes. The races don't. So, it might be better with a horse than a race, because the races have automatic cutscenes that start when you approach. I'm not sure which ones you could potentially hurt yourself in. But regardless, I'm gonna go and check this out anyways. I'm already here. Might as well run through it. I do wonder where you might spawn though if you die. It's kind of uh, interesting to consider, like, where you might spawn, because it could make that easier. 
but I don't remember how many, like, checkpoints the game gives you. Because you don't start at the beginning, I don't think. They just seem to have, like, secret checkpoints. Or where you spawn. Hello, moose. Oh god, that really just killed me entirely. I thought that only, like, like do it a little bit. <laughs> Like, dang it, I was going to try and stop myself. Yeah, I forgot. Large animals are instant death. I'm trying to get myself hurt a little bit. Let's keep going. I got pretty low health now, so. Oh god, I did not mean to do that again. Okay, now I gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that again. Okay, so that's definitely one checkpoint right there. Uh, let's keep going. I'm not gonna try and lose all my health yet, because that was a bad idea. Um, let's, let's just get to the track and figure out if there's anything worth doing. I thought you could race them again, but I guess not. I was mistaken on that. Yeah. How can I hurt myself here? None of these races have jumps in them, do they? That's where you could hurt yourself. Let's go. Giddy up. Giddy up. There's like nowhere that I can figure out how to hurt myself here. Horse Trail 2 has jumps. Oh, it, has, it does have jumps in the race. And Beach Trail 3 with the horse has jumps. I think the only place you can really hurt the horse is where there's jumps. Like, that's the only reliable place. Um, because that kind of bucking doesn't cause pain. So I'm going to... Um, exit but beach trail uh, three could be a place but you know what that would be interesting to try and utilize something like if you were to able to die right up to the cutscene with the horse um if that would like give you an advantage of like starting or something so that's one that is not fun <laughs> That one can be a pain. I'm not so sure where else I could actually try that out. Yeah. And I think I'm probably going to call it a day for the stream now because it's almost been two hours. <laughs> but still, interesting to think about some of these things. And I'll probably look into the model ripping stuff soon because that's something I've done to some extent. And that is true. We do have the the third horse to be pretty fast uh, but yeah i think uh uh i think i think that'll probably be it for today
I don't know when I'll play this game again. I'll probably be doing a lot of stuff offline, like off screen. And uh, might have something to show off. I don't really like doing I don't really like doing speed runs like live on stream because I usually just practice a ton on my own and then I get good and then I end up getting a good run. <laughs> so, so yeah, that'll be it for today. Thanks for everyone who stopped by and I will be streaming again tomorrow, but it'll be it'll be more Minecraft. I'll be playing Bedrock tomorrow for the first time blind, so that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by.